The impact from the investment in training has led to new services being started by the past awardees. As a result, better quality of care benefits clients in the sector. Galvin has been involved in the new initiative for dementia patients in St Andrews Community Hospital. The new initiative is actually a new dementia ward set up in St Andrews Community Hospital. So it utilizes a person-centered care approach whereby it provides care for moderate to severe dementia patients. We tend to look at their strengths and not their disabilities. Being a previous Tamasic Care Study Award recipient, I sort of like uh, gained the skills of being more person-centered. So I'm able to plan more person-centered approaches to what my patients are doing during therapy. In addition to that, therapy has to be meaningful. What I did was it's more of like incorporating some familiar objects, familiar animals that they know, and they can actually form the after forming the objects, they can actually reminiscence about the object like a picture of a cat or a fish and all. Okay, so after going through the training, I developed a stronger professional identity. So with this stronger professional identity, I know that I have a role to play in this community hospital, in this dementia ward setup. St Andrews Community Hospital certainly has benefited greatly from the training grants, be it the Balaji Sadasivan Study Award, or the Professional Conversion Programme, or the SHMDP ILTC, or even the access to health productivity funding or Community Silver Trust. In the last three years, about 40 of our staff, doctors, nurses, therapists and administrative staff have been able to get training through these uh, grants. On the other hand, and as important, is the ability to use the training to provide better care for our patients, more person-centred, safer, more effective, and at the end of the day, uh, better patient outcomes. I can see that as a result of all these increased opportunities for training over the past few years, the ILTC sector is now better placed to be part of the mainstream healthcare system, looking after our patients and helping them to age gracefully and age well in the community and in the home.